Hi, and welcome back to Dr. KJ's Age to Perfection. Today, I'm going to be going over the Dyson Airwrap Complete. This is something that I have wanted since 2018, but when it came out for sale the first time, I had trouble getting it. So I tried to order it, tried to order it, kept being on backlog, couldn't get the order done. Then I lost interest a little bit. And so finally this year, they came out with this new gift edition in this beautiful copper color. So I wanted to get this. I got it for my birthday and I'm gonna unveil it now and try it out and see if it's really worth the price tag. So here's the box. I'm gonna open up the box. Let's see, let me adjust the camera. Okay. You can see what comes in the box. It opens up like this. Parts out, I don't know. This is like the little case it comes in, the case you put it in. So I'll put this down here. This is actually very heavy. Okay, there's the box. Can't really see my face now. Oh, look how pretty this is. Looks beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna open it up and actually see what's inside of here. More stuff. So this, I think it's the plate you put the product on, protective mat. There are all these videos you can watch to see how to do it. I've watched a lot of them online, so I'm ready. Very, very ready to try this product. This is one of the brushes, which I doubt I'll ever use. This is the smoothing brush, which I'm gonna to use today. I'm gonna to put that on the side. I think this is a smoothing brush. One is a smoothing brush, and one is kind of a volumizing brush, which I don't want. I'll figure that out, but I think this is the smoothing one. Then we have the two different wands. I think this is 1.6 inches, and they curl your hair and either counterclockwise or clockwise. These are the ones that are a little bit smaller for tighter curls. This is just a general blower to blow dry your hair before you start. And this is the wand. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start using this. Pause it right quick. I'm gonna use the smoothing brush don't really okay let me see i think that's it i press lock i'm going to turn this bad boy on it's on high it's on the higher heat the higher volume i'm just going to turn it on and see how well this works oh. and then once so this section is it feels completely dry right now it looks actually really straight, but the back of my hair is a different texture and I, I need to see how it works on the middle of my hair. So I'm gonna go through it with a cold burst too, to set it. Okay, so for, I'm actually gonna do half, half and half. So I'm gonna maybe do this side with, and just kind of see how these work, the curlers work. So I'm gonna see how this works now. I'm just taking it off, unlock it. So this product's supposed to just, I'm just put my hair up and it's gonna just flip around it from what the ads show. So let me just comb it out a little bit more. Let's see if it works. Kind of work. Let me do it again. Let 
I actually like that. I don't know how my whole head will look when I do it, but I'm actually gonna try this some more. This may actually, if it stays like this and doesn't get too frizzy looking, it may actually be worth the money. This really works. These barrels, one is clockwise, one is counterclockwise. I don't know which one goes for which side of your head yet, but I'm just experimenting. I probably should have watched some more videos. I think, okay, I'm just gonna have fun and play right now. So let's see. I think it's working for now, at least in the back of my hair with this texture. The back is more like a 3B, the middle could be like a, four, a 3C, so it's a lot more coarse in the middle. And I'm gonna keep seeing how this works as I go through. Looks like I'm getting better as I go along because these this looks great. I'm missing hairs because that's I didn't section it very good. I'm gonna just put this up top. I'm just gonna straighten it out with one of the I'm gonna try another brush. Just to experiment. I will say this does not get nearly as hot as my regular blow dryer because I would never be able to put my hands up on my blow dryer like this without burning myself or feeling like I was gonna burn my hand off. So it's getting fairly straight. I'm gonna actually try the attachment to see if I can curl it under a little bit better. I'll try this. See what kind of curl this gives it? I actually like that. Huh. This potentially could be worth the money. So I'm going to now take my hair down some more, do the rest of it, and let y'all see how it turns out. I'm just gonna go straight to the front. I should do some in the middle, but I really wanna see how this part does. And my goal with this is so I don't have to put too much heat on my head because I don't want to mess up my curl patterns. And sometimes I do like having my hair straight. So I don't want to put too much heat on it. I don't want to then go after I do this to have to go flat iron it. So my goal is for that this system makes it so I'm done with my hair afterwards. That would make it worth the money to me. If not, I'm returning this bad boy. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Okay, now I'm gonna switch and go back to this. And what I'm doing is I'm doing it on the hot first and at the end I'm switching it to cold just to set it there. And I think this is working well. I don't know what's gonna happen when I step outside in the humidity, but it's working really, really well right now. So I'm loving it. Okay, so far it's great. Um, this side, I don't know if I actually have the patience to use that wrap thing the whole time, but at least the roots are good. And probably after just wrapping your hair at night, it may make this all work and be fine. I don't think I have the patience to use these brushes. I'm gonna do the rest of the side and then maybe use this brush to curl it like I just used this and see how that works. Okay, so this is the first side of my hair. I think it, it did okay. It's better than I would do blow drying my hair with the regular blow dryer. Um, let's get inside. I don't know if this is just because I didn't dry it well enough.
to see if it's really, to see how this really goes, I would probably have to wrap my, I couldn't just go like this. This wouldn't work for me. I would have to wrap my hair and hopefully overnight it would fix it. So this may potentially be something I can do to get less heat on my hair and still be able to have straight styles with all the heat damage. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll let you see how that is at the end. So okay, this side is done. I actually used the smoothing brush and this brush to bump under the ends. And I will say in the about 20 minutes time that it took me to do this side, this side has frizzed up from the humidity in the air. So it's not gonna work because I'm sure in 15 minutes, this side will look just like this side. And I can actually wait, turn the camera back on. So it did straighten my hair somewhat, but there's no way that I could not go through, well, through this with a flat iron. I can try to wrap it to see if that takes out some of these curls, but to wear my hair down, I'm gonna need more than this if I'm gonna do a straight look. So right now I don't think it's worth it, but let's wait till I wrap it and see what happens. Okay, okay, so I just want to update you on how my hair looked the day afterwards after I slept. I wrapped it and to show you how the Dyson Air Wrap worked afterwards. This is my hair in a ponytail. It doesn't look bad in the ponytail, but you can see my roots. I had to use a lot of like stuff to slick them down. I'm gonna show you how it looks. It was just too thick for me to feel like wearing it down. It's, this is not what I want after I straighten my hair. I want it to look like straight and I can comb through it. I can, I can put my fingers through it. So it did work some, it just didn't work how I wanted it to be. I really like not this much fullness and everything in my hair. I like it to look a little bit straighter to try to get some of the frizz out. I don't like my hair to look like this after it is done. And after sp spending $530, it's like 600 with taxes is not the results I want. And this is what the Dyson hair wrap results after I wrapped my hair gave me. If you like the fullness like this, I think it was worth it. I just, this isn't what I want. If I pay that much money, I want like bone straight hair to look like I got a for real press out. So, but I keep the Dyson, no. I don't think it's worth the money. Not when your hair is the texture of mine, like 3C hair. Maybe if I had more fine hair, like one, two, even like 2C, maybe a 3A potentially. But for those people who, if you go to the blow dry bar and they blow it out and you still need them to straighten it out so you don't walk out and it's really frizzy, the Dyson Air Wrap is not for you if you want to just like use that and go. You're still gonna need a flat iron to go through your hair. And for this, I can use the, $20 Revlon one I have that gives me about the same results. It does use more heat, but I still get the same results and it's not that hot that I'm messing up my curl pattern. So I'm just gonna keep using that. I really hope you found this video helpful. Hope this review was helpful. Make sure you press like, make sure you subscribe and give me any comments below. Thanks, have a great day.